Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Aryav, or Kilo November 6, India, India Hotel, and today I'll be talking about the history of the capacitor. Many hobbyists, students, and hams have stumbled upon this electric component, and let me just say this. Although the piece's usage is simple, when taking a look at its history and what went into the creation of the product we use today, one can see that it is a very interesting story. For that reason, today I'll be explaining the past of the capacitor, all the way from its invention to its implementation in the real world today. Records indicate that in 1745, German scientist and inventor Ewald George von Kleist invented the capacitor. Almost a year later, a Dutch professor at the University of Leiden created what most in the scientific community credit as the first actual capacitor, called the Leyden jar. Sadly, von Kleist's hard work towards the creation of the capacitor may never be fully understood, as he lacked the precise and comprehensive notes regarding his work that the University of Leiden possessed. Moving back to the Leyden jar, we can see that it was really an extremely simple device. What it was was simply a glass jar, filled to the halfway point with water, and lined both inside and out with a metal foil. Covering the jar was a cork, normally punctured by a wire, which in turn was connected to a generator of some kind, which could deliver a charge. Once charged, the jar would hold two equal but opposite charges in equilibrium until both were connected with the wire, producing a slight spark or shock which led to its capacitance. Years later, Benjamin Franklin worked with the Leyden jar during a series of experiments that would eventually lead to the creation of the flat capacitor. After observing the effectiveness of the glass jar, Franklin found that a flat piece of glass could work just as well, if not better, than the curved container. After Benjamin Franklin's progression in the field of capacitors, other scientists, such as Michael Faraday, an English inventor, began to pioneer the first usable models of the capacitor. Faraday's earliest creation consisted of a series of oil barrels. His progress in the field helped eventually deliver electric power of greater size than had ever been seen before. Due to his great achievements in the creation and implementation of the capacitor, the unit of capacitance has been named the farad. Today, capacitors are a large part of any electronic circuit and play a tremendous role in storing energy. We've come a long way from the simple glass jar of the 1700s, and I guarantee we will progress much further in the future. With those parting words in mind, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more weekly ham and electronics-related content. This is Kilo November 6, India India Hotel, signing off.